Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. I got Rick with me today, and we're here at Alafaya River State Park, and we have the brand new Magicycle Deer Mini, and we've got the Zora Bike Felix, both suspension, dual suspension uh, bikes, and we're gonna take them on trail, see how well they do. We're gonna have a good time doing it, so stick around for the video. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <clears throat> we'll just kind of take it easy, take it slow, get used to it. First real test. Why don't you lead the way through here? So one thing I like about the Zora Felix there is the motor is super quiet. You get road noise from the tires, but you just barely hear the motor. What's that? Yeah, mine too. Got that early morning dew. Ah. <laughs> Ouch! I didn't take the corner too well. Touch it a little, and bang! It's off. It's, it takes off. Yeah. yeah. This one, yeah. This one, we can adjust the uh, pedal assist, so we can keep it lower if we wanted to. That one, I don't think we can. It's pretty basic. And that's one of the things I like about this. I can adjust pedal assist one and pedal assist two and make them make them a little slower. What do you think? Uh, uh, little, little go by. Oh yeah. Man, I tell you, this thing handles the bumps so well. This is so nice. I don't mind a few roots because it just kind of adds to the technicality of it, but some of them are just really bad. Right. And I'd rather deal with a root than a stump that's sticking up ready to puncture a tire, you know? Yeah. Deer. Walking through, yeah. Yep. Using the path. Yeah, he is. When Amanda and I were here, we saw, I saw a deer, I saw what looked like a raccoon, and a couple of things I couldn't identify. So. I almost hit a tree. <laughs> well, you didn't see me almost go over the handlebars when we first started. Because I hit a tree stump. I, I went off the path like that and I hit a tree stump. Wham! I thought I was going to be done for. Hello. Hello. Ah. All right. Whew. <laughs> Grab some water. That's fun. All right, so Zora, how'd it go? How, what are your so thoughts? my first impression is that it's a peppy bike. Yep. Um, I've hit some pretty good 
roots along the way and the suspension, double suspension back here seemed to work pretty well. Um, my only issue right now is just that the first first pedal assist level is a, a little peppy. A little high, isn't it? A little peppy. So yeah. you gotta be on your You gotta your be on best. your you gotta be on your best behavior. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? I just I'm sh some bikes you can adjust the, the pedal assist yeah. and, and lower it. And I'm just not I don't know if you can with this one. I don't have instructions on this particular uh, LCD display. And uh, so I don't know. The the Magic Cycle over here, you can adjust that and it's based on a percentage. So I can go in and set uh, pedal assist one for like 10% or 15% or whatever I want, which is another reason why I really like this bike. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So far, so, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. So I was uh, on the, on the uh, Magic Cycle and it was doing pretty well too. Although when we first got started, I, I didn't navigate a, a turn too well and I swung wide to the right. I went off trail and there happened to be a tree stump. And so I nailed the tree stump. So I don't think anything got damaged, but uh, I did nail it pretty hard. And it was enough that I kind of went forward like I thought I was gonna go over the- Did you hit the handlebars? I, I started to go over the handlebars a little bit. I mean, it was, it was, it was a pretty hard hit. But aside from that, uh, just getting used to the weight, uh, I love how this handles on the bumps as well because it handles so nice. It's the just absorber on the smooth. Front worked well on that. On the, on, yes, it, it did. On the bike. Yes, it did. It handled the uh, the tree stump quite well. All right. Should be fine. Now, if you start leaning over too much, you may only get what's in front of you. Enough. If I'm leaning over, it's because I'm flying over. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's try not to fly over. <laughs> This shade's nice. <clears throat> Trails in the shade are nice. Take that. Is that ready to take that one there? Yeah. What about this other stuff? Is it? Is it? No. Accurate? So far, everything's good. You sure. Yeah. Okay, I just, don't push it. I just wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I, I actually nailed uh, yeah, I almost uh, went over the handlebars. Uh, it's a new bike, and so I'm still learning the balance. Yeah, me too, but the oh, thing is... And I went I, off on the right, and boom, hit it square on. I took the uh, power off, because yeah. you can't So did do I. Yeah. Oh, check. Look at the gears. This is the uh, Magicycle Deer Mini. Magicycle. Yeah. Oh, okay, hers is a Fusion. Yeah. Mine's a Jupiter. Jupiter, yep. And yours a Zora. Oh, he's got the Zora bike. Hey, this is the one you need to get. Barbara. <laughs> it's got dual suspension. Yeah, she's talking to you. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. this is our first time doing a dirt bike. Yeah. Th whatever that is. Yeah. Well, we're doing first time on this trail. Okay. See, yeah. look, that's the one you're talking about. I, the step through. I, yeah, you know, it's, just, it's so much easier. Leg, you know, yeah. And this one has dual suspension, so you got oh, rear yeah. suspension, so it makes it a little easier on the boat. Oh wow. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. You want to trade really quick, like? Uh, <laughs> you know, if you want to test it, you can. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, look how big the seat is. Well, I added that on. Oh, you added that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, big booty. Because it's actually, <laughs> you know, yeah. if, saying, I got a big booty. If you are, I got one. If you are hey, looking for this? one, did yeah. somebody drop this? That's he's he's he's, he's famous. Oh, yeah, he has yeah. his YouTube channel, and he's he'll hook you up with the magic cycle. So yeah, so I've got a YouTube channel, so I, I uh, do e-bike reviews and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of bikes. And that's what we're doing today. We're just out here testing them and just oh, trying them out, and, uh, and we're making videos about it. I have. 
three other bikes at home. Yeah. She has two. Yeah. Since we've had the electric bike, we've never gone back to the regular bike. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Now, now this, the camera's running. Do you mind being on the camera? Sure. Has, has anyone ever cut, told you you're cheating, though? Do you, you feel no, like you're no, cheating? No, I'm, I'm explain that. Now, I let people know and say, oh, yo, you're not getting the, the work. I said, you know what? You can turn it off and it turns into a regular bike. That's right. Okay? Or you can take the level and knock the level down. That's right. You know, to like two or one. That's right. And, you you know, the pedaling's a little bit harder. Yeah. So it's still like riding a regular bike. That's right. You know, but actually when she turned it off, it's harder to pedal than yeah, a regular bike. 60 pound, 70 pound bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're pedaling harder, uh -huh. so you're getting a workout. That's right. Yeah, versus you still you don't want to run bike people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you still. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. <laughs> but you still don't want to run out of battery. No, because no. let me tell you, it <laughs> happened to me yeah, on 301. Home. It's a haul. I still had another three miles to go home. Yeah. Yeah. It's not <gasps> fun. Uh, uh, I was struggling, and there's times I kid you not, a couple of times I got off the bike and walked. Yeah. My, because my quads were so were burned out. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I'll, I only did it once, ran out of juice, and I said to myself, I'll never, never do, do it, it again. again. Yeah. Monitor that battery. Clear, Monitored yeah. the battery. Monitor or buy a second hey, battery. I've got a, a Facebook group, a riding group, where we get together periodically and ride too. If you're interested. Yeah, interested. Uh, Take care. Be safe. Yep, I'm just being careful because this thing takes off so quick. Getting the adrenaline going.
I mean, this bike will take it. It's just it's too it's too uh, zippy on pedal assist one. Yeah. Pull it out that way, yeah. Cause those straps come with. So I'm I guess that peak for park. I don't know, but it doesn't go anywhere now. Let's see. Let's go give it a whirl. Whew. Got to get used to this. This is quite different. <laughs> I see what you're saying. This is geared a little high too. Oh, wow. Heck yeah. I, I think I'll just leave it on one. I mean, I'll, I'll get used to this too, don't get me wrong. Alright. Wow, this is just so different. So, I was thinking maybe we'll... Uh, now that we swap bikes, I was thinking maybe we'll go back to that that sand pines and just do that loop again. So that way we have a good comparison with riding each bike on the same trail. Does that sound right? Yeah, definitely wished we had instructions on how to adjust the pedal assist here, and if it can be adjusted, because pedal assist one is just a little too zippy. Hey, fellas. Hey, how are we doing? Good. How are you doing? Fantastic. Hey, thank you so much for being out here. I know you guys are volunteers, right? Thank you, yes, sir. Thank you so much for being out here. Appreciate it. That one's a little smoother. You think so? I still think this one's pretty... Ouch. I still think this one's pretty good, but that one's definitely smoother. We'll talk about it when we get down to the end here. Ah. <laughs> Oh, sure enough. Woo, that's got... I grabbed that thing and I should have looked first. That's got some huge thorns on it. I keep forgetting. That's not a step through. And I jump off and then I get caught on it. I'll tell you what. All right, Rick. So we uh, we switched bikes and then we started to run this trail again. And what are your thoughts about the Magicycle now? My thought on the Magicycle is it's night and day when it comes to the suspension yep. and the comfort of the ride. Hitting some of these larger roots with the other one, I can, I definitely felt it with this one. It was uh, just a bump. It was enjoyable. Yeah, so, yeah. I can definitely tell the difference too. A big difference. It's just so much smoother, and especially on the smaller bumps, you just kind of glide right over it. Um, this one, you know, the, not to knock it, the suspension is still good if you don't have any suspension. I think it's still pretty decent. I think it's still pretty decent. If you yeah. if you came from a bike that didn't have anything, I think the but one that, uh, an added would be the seat post suspension seat post, and then I think you'd you'd be you'd be in there. You'd be in there. Yeah, that that's actually a good point and, to make because that one does have a suspension seat post that I added, and I didn't do it this one. Figure out how to adjust the, the speed, I'm especially one. Oh heck yeah! So I, I found that I was using the throttle more Did this one know? just so that I could regulate the speed a little bit better. Because pedal assist one is just too zippy. <laughs> Way too zippy. But this one, not so much. Now, here's something else I noticed. I actually lost my balance a few times with this one. See, I, I, I had much better control. Of this you one. had better control. And I felt like I had better control over here. I didn't feel like I was losing my balance a few times like I like I did in the beginning when I first started out with that one. I mean... For some reason, you just... I don't know if it's leaning forward or just handlebars. I don't know. It's just... Just better control. And it's... Well, if this is taller, well, they're probably about the same. Yeah, they're about. Just a little higher, not too much. Yeah. But it's still 20 inch tires, so you can get around that. Yep, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> Either way, it's still a fun time. What pressure do you usually run your tires? Uh, I usually keep it right around 18. 18, That's what, 18 19. Yeah. It covers this and it covers the road. The road. You're just perfectly fine with it, yeah. I have friends that pump them up to 25. No, there's no way. Are you crazy? No way. This battery is done on this camera, so I'm shutting this one off. 
Okay guys, Rick and I are done. We're off the trail and here are some final thoughts on these two bikes right here. All right, Rick, what do you think? Final thoughts? Well, uh, I will go start with the Zora bike. Okay. Uh, I think it's definitely worth the money. Uh, it's definitely got pep. Uh, the shock absorber, the uh, double suspension definitely, I felt that I had some bumps out there. Uh, you know, it's, it's, what you get is what you get. What you get, what you get. I think it is a good value for, for what it is. Compared to my experience with Magic Cycle, for me, the Magic Cycle is much more comfortable ride. The double suspension, you can really, really enjoy. That blue end was a nice seat. Yeah, and for sure. Which I felt that the bike allowed me a, a little more ability to control the bike uh -huh. on this bike. Okay, sure. And we kind of discussed that on trail. And for me, I felt like I had a little bit of control on the Zora bike. And I think it could be that the handlebars are up so tall on this bike and being a taller person, yeah. these handlebars are pretty low. Look at that long arm. Exactly. And so these handlebars definitely are gonna get raised and that's gonna help, I think, with the control. And also one thing I noticed, Rick, is balance. I actually, I was able to keep my balance better on the Zora. But again, I think it comes down to just the steering and, and how it felt. Yeah, I, I personally felt more comfortable with that one. Right. But I, I still think that when I sit on this bike, I feel like I'm taller. Right. And okay. It's just simply the, the, the perception of the higher handlebars. Could be. Yeah. It could be. Like could be. Overall, it was a, a fun day today, and it's a good time out here uh, testing these two bikes and and uh, running them through the mud and the muck and the hills and the and the things that we did. So it was a good time. And, and no one got lost their saddle. <laughs> no one lost their saddle. That's right. No one got uh, no one got injured. Despite the fact that I did hit a tree stump. Okay, guys, so we're going to wrap up this video, so uh, appreciate it. If uh, you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe, hit that like button, get, show us some love, and uh, we'll be watching out for you in the next video. You'll be watching for us. Till then, you ride safe. So here we have Richard showing us how easy it is to transport on the back of his pickup yeah. truck. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> he almost. <laughs> this got so much power. And that, was, that, was one. that was some good braking right there at the last second. Oh boy. Action. That's how it's done. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I like the job of the camera better. <laughs>